What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at one of the recent surprises in Ghost Blade HD for Nintendo Switch. And I'm happy to announce that I do have another Nintendo Switch game giveaway for the very same game. Now personally, I do stay sort of clear from all these bullet hell shooters simply because they're way too intense for me. There's too much chaos happening on screen, but Sure enough, publisher East Asia Soft sent me over this review copy to check out and I have to admit I'm pleasantly surprised by the game. And perhaps the genre on a bigger scale? There is so much goodness going on in this game from the tight controls, but actually I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's dive in and have a look at Ghostblade HD for Nintendo Switch. Ghostblade HD is a bullet hell top-down shooter from the stables of Hookast Games and To Dream in which you'll blast your way through hordes of enemies all the while trying to stay clear from the insane amount of particles whizzing past your little battleship. The game knows essentially four different gameplay modes. The single player campaign, a two player co-op campaign, training mode and lastly the score attack mode. The leaderboards, achievements and options round off the menu on which we'll get back to later on. After selecting your mode, you have to select one of the three pilots with their unique battleships. This choice will affect your playthrough as each ship has its own distinctive firing pattern as you can see here. The score attack mode might be the best way to start out as you have an unlimited amount of lives and there's no story to weave through, it's just a long level, quite hard at times I admit, and at the end of it you have to face the boss. And that's pretty much all there is to it. It is the perfect mode to test out the three pilots and see which one works best for you. The main campaign knows only 5 levels and likewise 5 boss battles. But don't be mistaken, 5 is quite enough as games like these will keep you on your toes for sure. Each level is nicely designed in terms of its aesthetics, each having its own theme and type of enemies, either land, air or sea based, with each their own attack pattern. I really like those planes who come from below then flip over ready to blast at you. The trick in these bullet hell games is to stay alive. It's easy to get lost in the act of blasting everything apart, which is the basis of basically every general shoot 'em up or shmup. But with bullet hell games, it is more important to dodge the incoming array of bullets. Don't worry too much about your own firing, as the angles your guns are at will make sure to hit at least someone. To that end, there are two ways of firing. Wide angle shots and a focused beam, putting all your eggs in one basket. And lastly, you have the option of detonating a bomb, the latter of which does come in handy when there is no way out anymore. Going through the single player campaign mode is great, but together with a friend it's all the more fun, especially without being able to hit each other. Blast away, keep dodging incoming fire and pick up everything which will either boost your battleship or increase your score. Or both. During the battles, once you have reached certain criteria, you will get pop-ups of the in-game achievements you have unlocked, which is all the more reason to keep playing on and unlocking some more. These achievements and their conditions can be checked by accessing it from the main menu and it's a pretty long list if you ask me. In the settings you can jumble around plenty of stuff, but the best thing is the option to change the game's display mode to vertical screen so you can take full advantage of the Nintendo Switch's amazing screen in handheld mode. One of the best things about this game is the way you control your ships. The controls are super responsive and the fluidity of the firing mechanisms are so well done. It often comes down in these games to a split second and in the way it is set up you really have the feeling like you're in control of your ship at any given time. Another thing this game has really going for it is the visual impact. Ghostblade HD looks amazing. 
The images are crisp, the light effects are done really nicely, and the colors are so vibrant. The layering of the models and backgrounds is done really nicely so, and even in the midst of all the chaos, it is pretty easy to identify a little battleship. Add to this some great music and sound effects, and you have yourself a great game. Ghostblade HD came as a big surprise to me and I am really happy that I've played through it. There's so much stuff going on in this game and from the visuals to the tight controls and from the music score to the overall setting, this game is an absolute must play for anyone enjoying a shooter. And yes, it's, it's a bullet hell shooter, it is definitely a step up from a regular shooter you could say, but it's, it's one to easily get into, especially when you change the setting to easy and then amp it up to normal or hard, it's, it's, it's quite tough, um, but it's a definite pickup for anyone who's looking forward to such a game. Now, I have to be honest with you guys, five levels, five bosses and of course that other mode, it might sound a little less, it's actually quite well done, the levels are long enough, but I admit, I also hope that the developers will add in one or two extra levels somewhere down the line. I guess that shouldn't be too hard to do, but I'm not expecting any wonders there, but it's a good game as it is. For what it comes for, it's a good package. The game can be yours for a mere $14.99, or, or you can try your luck and enter the giveaway down in the comment section below and take your chances at winning one of these games. And if you're really down for it, you can also get yourself a physical copy of the game together with an art book and CD with a music score. You can order this through PlayAsia. I've put the link down in the description below. And with that, I am signing off. I'm off to another review. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you are among the first to get notified of any new videos. Don't be a stranger, hit the like button if you have enjoyed this review and leave a comment in the section down below and I will see you next time.